Hi, let's take a look at uh, crystallographic directions. <clears throat> so we've, we've actually, you know, if you've studied crystal structures, you've probably uh, seen crystallographic directions, perhaps without realizing it. <clears throat> so for example, in, uh, just as, as an example, okay, for uh, an FCC crystal, or an FCC crystal structure, you know, if I try my best here to draw the atoms as, as, if, as they would be if they were touching in the hard sphere model, just on the front face there, what we might have said is the atoms touch across the face diagonals. You know, so for, um, for FCC, Atoms touch along, and I'll put it in quotes here, face diagonals, right? Or, um, you know, what about, uh, what about for, for BCC? You know, BCC, what did the, well, the atoms touch for BCC across the, um, you know, the, the, the cube diagonals, right? There was actually four of those cube diagonals. <clears throat> so the, you know, this was, was cube diagonals. <clears throat> but what if we wanted to describe some, some other direction in, in, uh, in the cube? You know, perhaps the, the cube edges along the x direction, along the y, you know, along the z direction. Uh, well, we can kind of describe those in words, and this is what we usually do when we first introduce crystal structures. But you can you can quickly see that it becomes a little tedious. What if I wanted to describe, you know, this this blue vector that I drew going from this bottom front left to the back top right? Well, I can say it's that cube diagonal that originates at the um, bottom front left, and so on. But that's a very tedious, um, you know, way to describe, and it takes a lot of words. In, instead, it would be nice if we could use a compact little mathematical notation. And that's what crystallographic, uh, crystallographic uh, directions are all about. So instead of calling that, you know, that big sentence, we would call it the <coughs> one bar, one, one, um, correction, uh, direction, okay? So this little notation here, one bar, one, one, I, is what I'm gonna explain to you right now. So the, the approach to crystallographic directions is this. <clears throat> First of all, we can translate the vector if it helps things. Uh, and by that I mean if, it's, if it puts it in a more convenient location, you can translate a vector and it doesn't change the vector. The vector has is, is, is got direction and magnitude. <clears throat> Typically, we truncate the vector within the unit cell, and that's how we define our magnitude. Um, <clears throat> but the direction is independent of position, so we can translate it all we want if it helps to make things easier, if it helps uh, you know, to make your life easier. For example, you know, rather than sketching um, a vector over here, it may be easier to say, well, we're actually talking about this vector. It's the same vector, but it's inside the unit cell now. <clears throat> Another way of saying this same thing is you could define a new origin, okay? Okay, so sometimes students think that the origin is sacred, it has to be the back bottom left, but the origin is your tool. The origin is, is, is your tool to do with what you want, right? You can, you can move the origin to find new origin if you want anywhere that makes your life more convenient. I mean, we, we don't know where the origin, um, it, it, there's, there's nothing sacred about it. You define the origin where you want. Um, okay, then, then what do you do? Let's get, let's get down to the business here. Um, then what you do is you determine the projection uh, 
of vector onto the x, the y, and the z axes. <clears throat> Another way of saying that same thing, I always like to describe things in a couple of ways if possible. Another way of saying that is, in fact, it's actually you're determining the point coordinates of the arrowhead of the vector if it originates at the origin. And there again, you define the origin where you want. Define the origin at the starting point of your vector. And then the point coordinates are the projections. Or the point coordinates of n of vector originating at the origin. And essentially, you're, you're almost done there. Now there's just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, I'm just going to call it that, housekeeping. OK, and that's what I mean by that is just clearing it up so that it's presented in the way, that in, the, in the standard format that we, we like to present things in. So you know, in material science, we, I don't know, maybe we're lazy. We, we don't like to put commas in. So you don't put commas in. Um, so there's no commas. Commas are reserved for point coordinates. A vector, and a, uh, in fact, a plane, the indices for a plane, has no commas, no commas. Um, negative signs above the numbers. We call it a bar. <clears throat> and then lowest. Integer values for the indices. Okay, so we don't have fractions, <clears throat> and we reduce down to the lowest integer value. So that's it. Let's take a quick look at an example, and then we'll, we'll wrap things this up. So let's take a, a look here at a unit cell. And say, you know, say we want to describe the vector that originates here and travels towards the back top left corner. Well, <clears throat> again, if I just go ahead and I define a new origin there, well, then the point coordinates are <clears throat> negative 1 in the x direction, 0 in the y, and 1 in the z. Negative 1, um, 0, and 1. Point coordinates, don't put parentheses around it, because that'll confuse things with, uh, with planes, we'll get, which you'll see in the other video. Um, so just put, uh, write point coordinates like that if you need to write point coordinates. Um, and then this vector uh, becomes um, the 1 bar 0, 1 vector. And in fact, I forgot in my housekeeping here, square brackets. Uh, I'm going to write that over here where I have some more space. Square brackets. Um, and th 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 this is sometimes referred to as the enclosure. OK, just in case you see that term, these little brackets are enclosing the indices. That's the, again, that's that uh, final little housekeeping step. We enclose it in square brackets. <clears throat>